Hey, hey, hello everybody, this is Mr. Soises, and something very unfortunate has happened. Our spaceship has went down on some desert planet. It looks like it used to be inhabited, from what I could tell. There was some broken up buildings and roads that I could see, but they looked uninhabited from when we were falling. The rest of the crew has died, unfortunately, and it seems that their bones have actually multiplied and their flesh has multiplied, and at night it comes up and it is monsters that try to kill me. This planet has something horrible about it. I must survive. I don't want to become one of these horrible monsters. Or hundreds of them. We need to survive. And to do that, we need to first crash. Alright, so guys, this is Crash Landing. What you gotta do, it is a modded uh, survival, if you couldn't tell from all the weird blocks. There's actually not one single vanilla block that I can see right now. Kind of an interesting fact. Let's get this chair. This is one of the first things you want to do. Place that down just here. Uh, I'm going to kind of show you this as a tutorial. And we're going to use the hard mode on this. So it's going to be hardcore tutorial. Oh yeah. So first thing you got to do is slash HQM quest. Blah, 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 spell right, and then you have to go slash game rule space, and then you can press tab a whole bunch of times until you find mob griefing. Press space again, write in false, and there you go. That is configured your whole game. This thing can be taken down now, but that really doesn't matter. You can pick up the gun and the crescent hammer. Press shift while right clicking these to get these two fluid transposers. So pretty much what has happened, we crashed. The rest of the crew died and it's become a bunch of monsters that come up only at night. Here's one of our fuel cells and the other ones, for some reason one of them only has water and the other one has blazing pyrothium. Don't ask me why, but it just works for the map. Alright, so we need to get this. This is some clay. I think that the idea of this is that the clay grew while we were asleep, like we got knocked unconscious while... Um, why, like after the crash and then so it had some time to grow and at the same time the bones of my my crew members have become like went throughout all the soil and become these horrible monsters so we're just gonna get a few sand we only re really needed two to start some of the quests let's put a quest book in there and we're gonna skip all of this all you have to do is get to here claim this reward go here claim that ah, you actually have to press that and then claim reward Go here, claim reward, go to this one, select task. I've done this a few times. I'm really sorry if I'm going too fast and you're trying to follow along. Uh, we need to reconfigure all of this. And we need to get the camel pack on as soon as possible. So you need to put normal water bottles, the cold water, which I have right here. These are not going to work. And there we go. That is going to make you not die really quickly. Which is a good thing, usually. Only thing is, is this map is uh, it's a little bit dangerous. You might want to die on the first day. That's how scary this map is. If you've never played it before, and you're following this tutorial, that is probably the smartest thing you've done in a long time, because I have played this a lot of times to be able to know exactly what to do. And this is me actually being able to show you guys. So I am going to be building some really cool stuff, but I'm also going to be getting some quests done. Uh, yeah, so I have a lot of stuff that I know what to do. Just after you selected this task, you just go to uh, Sapping the Saplings, press Select Task, and then Escape to get out of the book, then right click on there. There you go, and that's going to set it for you. Now what you need to do is come out here and choose whatever tree you want, it really doesn't matter. Just go ahead and plant that and bone meal it. You don't got time for uh, waiting. And take out some of the logs from the bottom. You really only need one. Go back inside to wherever you place down your crafting table. And just use one of the logs to make eight sticks and two crooks. So these wooden crooks are going to get you more saplings and also possibly silkworms which are for a quest later on this is um a hardcore quest modded quest thingy mabob 
and it's so much fun. I would so suggest downloading it. Um, it's on the Feed the Beast launcher. If you don't know how to get that, then I will leave a link to how to download, or a link to the download of the Feed the Beast launcher. I would highly suggest downloading it, even if you don't want to play Crash Landing, because you can also play Agrarian Skies, you can play the Dire Wolf pack. There's just a whole bunch of different mod packs that you can play. There's even vanilla Minecraft. As long as you have an account, you can play it on there. So we need 10 saplings, so we need to make one more tree at least. Hopefully we will get 10 saplings from this. Or I guess the remaining saplings that we need. We're getting pretty lucky right now, but I can always turn around at any moment. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it, because that would really stink. Okay, we're at 8. And everything in the first day is dead. Oh yes, we got a silkworm for one of the quests later on. That's very good, because it sucks using a bone crook on stuff. A um, few little things that you might want to know. One, do things fast, but not so fast that you need to run everywhere. Because the food that you have isn't going to last very long, and you're going to use it up just by walking around. So be very careful of that. Oh man, so my idea for this is actually about, is uh, to talk about some stuff. Oh, okay, we got that done. Always make sure to carry your dirt around with you because that's going to help you in the future. I'm just going to put a little hole there, so we'll have that all set up. Uh, we're going to get one of these quests done right now. Just take one of your lead stone energy cells, shove it in there. Where did I put that? Shove it in there. You uh, want to watch this so you don't waste power. Just make sure like that this is um, on sapping the saplings before you start that. Uh, make sure it's configured so that it's uh, fill, toggle fill. Alright, and it's going to make you some sticks from your birch saplings, but you don't really need to worry about all that kind of stuff. So, like it's not really that important. Where is my quest book? I know I had two. Okay, apparently I put both of them in here. That's weird. So that one, you see this water is going up. There you go, 40. And we can actually do this one. So to do this one, you can make water by putting a dirt with a glass bottle. All right, and we can submit this quest. And if you uh, smelt that, which is going to be what the next quest tells you to do, uh, you can actually get a purified water, which you can actually drink. The dirty water you don't want to drink and you can't, I'm pretty sure. Uh, cold water, you can smelt it if you are in need of water, but you can also just drink it straight up. Uh, we need to choose one of these chests for items. We're going to put that in there. We have our dirt. We are just going to put everything we don't definitely need into there right now. Alright, we can get this away. And we got that. Take out the leadstone energy cell before it wastes too much power. And you want to make sure that you have that clay on the first day. That's going to be good. Uh, you want to get a whole bunch of this darkened glass, which is just kind of everywhere on this. And you want to close yourself into here. This is going to be your home for the next maybe 20 Minecraft days at least before you get more situated. So, yeah, that's why I would suggest using the glass instead of like wood or something like that. And also, you don't really want to waste your wood. So, yeah, those are all things to be considering. Alright, so let's go ahead and I put the wood away. Let's take that back out. We want to make all of your wood except for one log into, um, into birch or whatever, I guess, just planks in general. Then go ahead and make a whole bunch of sticks. You need one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to make an extra one, two, three, four, five. Because I'm going to make some different tools. And then what you want to do is just put this back in. You can make one of these crafting tables, a uh, stencil table. And then you're going to need to make one of these crafting tables and put a stencil on top of it. or blank pattern sorry and just go ahead and place those somewhere you don't really have all that much space so I would suggest placing them in a corner but you don't need to then go ahead and put your patterns into here and you want to take out 
if you did make as many as I did, you want to take out that one, this one, the shovel head, axe head, go over to the crossbar pattern, and over to the knife blade pattern. Which one did I get an extra one of? Ah, right, the one I missed one, this one, tool binding pattern. Alright, and uh, you're going to be needing these in just a sec. <clears throat> Something you might want to do right off the bat is get your tool rod pattern and your shovel head pattern. And they just take, uh, the shovel head takes two bone meal, but if you have enough, then you can do this. This part is not necessary. It just kind of speeds up the process of everything, which again is a good thing, but you don't need to do it. So if you didn't have enough bone meal, then that's totally fine. Don't worry, you're not going to die yet. So what you want to do is make, well you don't need to do this, you could just pillar up and down, but I like making ladders. This is obviously not the only way to live. This is just the way that I've learned to live. And I've restarted this map a lot of times to be able to learn actually how to do well. And so I'm going to show you. So down here, if you just make it on one of the sides of this platform and make a little boxed in area, this is really good for fighting mobs and, you know, kicking butt. I would suggest taking out these two, opposite of where your ladder is, and filling them with sand, because you're, or dust, I always call it sand, because that's going to be really good for you in the future. Uh, for getting outside, it's easy to attack mobs, they can only get to you from one space, and hitting the spiders is pretty easy from right there. So we're going to go down here, and we need a whole bunch of sand. So I'll be back with you when I have dug out a 5x5x9, five by five by I believe it is. Actually, it would be 5x5x8, five by five by and that's 8 up. Alright, see you guys in a sec. Alright, so I'm not sure if you will be able to actually see this, but I've made a 5x5, five five, and it is 8 up to the ceiling, which is actually the floor of the ship. And I just have my ladder right here. You want to make a hole in the middle, which you'll be able to see in a sec, but... I didn't have enough ladders to go all the way down, so I had to pillar back up some. Now what you want to do is, with all of that dust that you got, uh, you want to make sure that you have at least a 2x9 uh, area in your inventory cleared, because you're going to be getting a whole bunch of items from what you're about to do. Okay, I have about that much, and I'm going to be using the, the uh, sand, so it's not a big deal. Um, and don't use your second strong box. Clear one of them out. Alright, so what you want to do is just sit in one of the seats that you got from over there and start sieving. And that just involves you holding right click down on one of the sieves. And so I'm going to sieve all of the dust that I have until it, well, until it becomes morning. And then I'll be back with you guys because we need to get four bones once it becomes morning. So I'll be back with you guys when I've gotten that. Something just to note is that if you do hear explosion sounds, don't be worried. It's just when a creeper touches the lava or the fire, it freaks out and some of them will blow up. It won't cause any damage if you set everything like I said it in the beginning, which is slash game rule mob griefing space false. Yeah, mob, well, game rule space mob griefing space false. And that will make sure that they don't blow up any blocks. They will actually just damage you. So they're still deadly, but they just won't wreck your stuff. Alright, so now that it's become morning, and you know that, either by Grace Minimap, or you know it by this, the very loud sound of all the mobs dying. <laughs> so you can go ahead and stop sieving just for now. And you're going to want to turn this on if you haven't already. Press M. Then go to radar, radar on, just click, it's normally off, just click on, and it will show you all the mobs, back team, and just watch where all the skeletons are dying. So kind of face in the directions of them so you know where they've been, and you're going to need to go to where they've been in just a second, and you're not always going to get so lucky that they're right in front of you. We should turn that just a little bit down. Back team. there we go. Alright, now... The game gave you a weapon in the beginning, and so you're going to either want to use that, or you can quickly make a weapon with the uh, 
the bone meal that you just got. But you want to, you can either do that or you can go ahead and just get your needle gun and right click and place one of your needle gun ammo. I just did that by holding over here and then right clicking on top of that slot. And so now we need to go outside and you see there's a whole bunch of baddies including this guy which is, he's going to be your worst nightmare. You might die a few times once you're at this point. Um, but uh, this guy is going to ruin your life. So you want to kill him first if you can. But if not, I just kind of got lucky that he was right in front of me. Yeah, I'm just right clicking. And the bullets take a second to get to them. So if they're walking sideways, you have to aim a little bit in front of them. Okay, that took a lot of hits. I need to kill all the rest of these guys. And you see a creeper is coming. Okay, we don't want creepers. Creepers are bad, if you didn't know that. And this seems to be a miniature creeper. There's ones that are even smaller than that, but it's a type of a miniature creeper, and this is a mini spider. There's a lot of random weird types of mobs. Okay, we're out of ammo. And so at this point, I'm going to take that bone meal. And we need our knife pattern, crossbar pattern, and this pattern. And you know what? I'm going to do something very risky. I'm just going to run out. Because I don't want all the items to despawn before I can get to them. Alright. And once I got a little bit away, I can start walking again. Okay, so this guy's going to come for me. What time of day is it? Okay, it's still morning. We need to find some of the bones. If there is any. We might have gotten super unlucky. Yeah, this guy's attacking us. It's kind of slow. <laughs> um, like, I'm passing him, and I'm in walking speed. I don't think any of the items would have despawned by now. I might not have just found them. All right, that was oddly worded. I may have just not found them yet. Optimism, right? Here's one bone. We need three more, and then we can be really happy. If we find three more, we can be the happiest Chico's ever. Come on. Ah. I saw skeletons this direction on my mini-map. That's why I need to search into these holes. I have no idea why these are holes. And there we go. Alright, we got five, and I don't want to be greedy, but... I really would like if I had more. Nope. And remember, this is, it may be a tutorial, but it's also, I'm using it as a let's play, so just remember that. I would like to know where that gas spider is. There it is. It looks like a spider is just flying until the gas render is in. Those gas don't shoot fireballs either. Um, they just kind of float around and, oh wow, I didn't even look on my roof. Look how many bones there are. There's four. Ridiculous. <laughs> Didn't even need to walk any of that way. So yeah, I wasted a whole bunch of food, which might be something that you've done too. And so we can be food loss buddies. Bam, there. Okay. So let's lock ourselves back in here. Uh, sometimes there'll be some mobs that die right here that got caught. That's just like natural. I didn't touch that at all. Uh, you want to make sure you have water all the time. And you can see I'm totally out of water. I wasn't paying attention. And we can just put water into here. We can't put cold water in. So yeah, that'll be, have to do for now. Uh, we don't have all of the necessary materials for what we need to do to get more water. So we might need to smelt these. But the thing is, is you might have gotten lucky or you might not have gotten lucky like I did. On how much stone you got. So... I was not very lucky, and I didn't get that much. Something I should have done before I left was put a glowstone down there. I wasn't thinking. That's something that you should do if you have not actually started yet, but you're just watching. You should put a glowstone down here, because mobs could have spawned down here, and then I would have been in royal trouble. 
We're going to put a glowstone just there. You can put it pretty much wherever you want in this room, though. And I'm used to having a ladder there because I've done this so much. Ah, yeah. And my way may not be the best, but my way has gotten me really far f for a long time. So I have no idea why I wanted to sift that, but I did. We have some materials, but we're kind of in trouble. So we need to make some more uh, trees, saplings. We need to saplifying them. That's not a word. I just made it up. Okay. We need to saplify them. Sure, why not? So just go ahead, place your dirt in the middle of the room. And this, as long as it's a 5x5x8 five by five by up room, you should just be able to bone meal and get yourself a tree. Now, the thing about this is I don't have uh, shears yet, which normally I do at this point, which means that I actually should be sifting instead of getting more saplings, but getting saplings will also help you get water if you are really in need. So I'll show you what you need to do if you want to use saplings just for a little bit. It's not going to be perfect forever. Um, okay, and hopefully you picked up some rotten zombie flesh while you were outside. If you didn't, hopefully you still have time to and you can go get that now. But you're going to need that for another quest. Oh, these bats. I hate bats. With a passion. So I'm just going to take down one tree just because we need more wood. I swear if a bat gets in my way right now killing everyone okay cool oh my goodness die get out of my way I hate bats so much everyone's like oh bats are so cute no no they're not do you see this I can't break this block hiya stupid bats I'm gonna plant one of these back here and we're gonna go back up for the time being I hate bats I hate bats so much and we oh no 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 you must die good no bats up here i already have to listen to them that's torture enough i'm just gonna put this book that i got in here and i'm gonna sift stuff a little while longer i should make a chest that's what one of the things i wanted wood for bam and chest we're gonna put this here and this is just for more random items um, something you can do, like I was saying with the saplings, if you really need to for water, is once you get 10, always make sure that you have an extra one. So once you have 11, I should say, put one aside and put the rest of them in here with some power configured to fill. And that's going to go and put them into here. Usually you would just press shift and click that so all of the outputs are off and all the inputs. And then once there's um, a thousand millibuckets in here, click that put a bucket or a water bottle in here and it will fill it so you can do that or you can do what I'm about to show you so I'm just gonna sift the rest of the sand, uh, the dust I always call it sand and I'll be back with you guys